Okay, hello. How are we going, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing Silent Hill 2 again. We're doing part 6. And I'm very excited to get back into it after the absolute crazy, crazy stuff that's been going on in the last episode in the hospital. Uh, before we start, I just want to show you, as you can see here, I'm moving house. I'm going to be moving in a couple of days but what's good about this is by the time this video will actually get uploaded I would have been in the house for a little while getting adjusted getting comfortable so uh, I've been able to sit down and have enough free time because I'm currently working from home currently being quarantined in that kind of situation just to be safe uh, so I've been able to record more and have more time cutting out the travel time to and from work so I'm able to sit down here and record a little bit and have it all done in advance so just to give you a brief update there that I will be moving but it shouldn't be interrupting anything so we can continue with having my green screen set up and playing some Silent Hill and just having a good time you know I've been sitting here and I'm playing playing my Animal Crossing having a good time that's me if it'll if it'll focus on me there's my little guy with my little Jedi robes that I made for myself so been uh, been playing been playing a lot of Animal Crossing to, to take the edge off of Silent Hill you know gotta have a balance a balance of light and dark so we'll, we'll get right into it now I'll, I'll take my break from Animal Crossing and we'll go back into the absolute craziness that is Silent Hill 2 okay I'm trying to remember from where I left off, so I remember how we're doing this. Um, all right, looks like that we're on the third floor, and we hit a we hit a save file, which was good. All right, well we'll have to see where we go from here then, because it it gave us this one straight away, and that's when I took the break. Well, can't get up to the roof. So that's not there anymore. So it looks like we're going down to the second and potentially first floors. Maybe even leaving the hospital at this point. Maybe I could have been right at the end, but I have no idea, so I'll have to find out. Alright, so we're going down to the first floor. How's the basement look? Oh. The basement is open, and there's weird noises. Oh, we're going to the basement. Alright. All right, everybody, it's basement time. I love the basement. I don't know what you mean about basements. They're fine. This isn't gonna be. This isn't gonna be awful at all. What is that? It's a noise. Why is, why is, why are things the way that they are, honestly? I used the basement storeroom key, all right. Here we go. What is going on here? Okay, you can tell I've been playing a Nintendo game when I keep pressing the uh, what I think is the A button on a switch by turning off my light, which I've never done. <laughs> uh, I went from wholesome times to this. Why have I done this to myself? There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf. Well, that's all we've really got to do, hey? No. Is that like no entry or something? 
James. Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. Oh, he did Mary again. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? I don't even know you, lady. No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. All right, Maria. All right. So we've got Maria back, who apparently was in danger of getting killed, and now we have to take care of her because she's our responsibility. I've got the copper ring with blood all over it. God, I'm now going to get used to seeing Maria again. Okay, so we've got a copper ring. I have no idea what to use it on. All those doors are broken. There's a storeroom. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll do a bit of a waltz. And I'll see I'll see where we end up. We'll see what we can do. So Mary uh, Maria's still here. But everywhere she has she's not going to mention or notice the the fact that the whole hospital looks different. What is going on, dude? Not a fan of that noise either. I guess we're going into the elevator. Unless this, unless Mary has, uh, Maria has anything to do with this room still. Let me see. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, there's hands coming out of the... I never noticed that. There's hands coming out of the door. What the hell? There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Dude, no. Can I use the copper ring for it? Maybe? Will you accept a copper ring? It's engraved with the picture of a spider. Oh, hang on. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. So the copper ring was just one thing to use for the for that door? Do I need something else? Where can I even go on this on this level? Trick or treat! 
No. Dude, no. And our lucky, or should I say unlucky challenger today is Jane. Jane Sunderland! You may play trick or treat. Okay, here's your first question. Merry-go-round, haunted house, roller coaster, Ferris wheel, and teacup. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. The question is, what is the name of this amusement park? One, Fantasyland. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay, quickly, on to question number two. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder of you. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Okay. Smashed bones, splattered blood, and finally... What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such a thing. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gay. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. See you again sometime. the hell was that? that? Uh, well, crap. Um, hold on a minute. Well, let's do some, let's do some map stuff, right? Lakeside Amusement Park. Nathan Avenue and then the name of a the name of a murderer I don't know if I have that information oh my god there's a chest Oh, I had to remember the series of the answers as well. Well, this one, I was pretty sure that was question three. I think Nathan Avenue was also question three. What's the, what's the answer? What is the answer? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Is there anything that I've picked up that I can, that I can read about this? article about the murder incident
The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for Billy and his sister. Walter Sullivan, old mate, Ep friend of Epstein. That's the one. All right, well, there we go. Um, now, I'm pretty sure Walter Sullivan was the first name. Walter Sullivan was first. Someone named Scott was second, and then the Eric Gein was third. So we'll go with question number two. Well, we got it. We got prizes. We win. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells. Shotgun shells for days and some beer. What would have happened if we lost? <laughs> At least two of them were easy, but that that other one, that one's a bit tough. But I've got a lot of, I got a lot of shotgun bullets now. I'm I'm happy with that. Um, so that's not that's not anything to do with the door, and it's not anything to do with the fridge either. Um, I do have a second person with me now though, so maybe the fridge could be opened, potentially? I think we have to go through the... I think we have to go to the elevator to go to the second floor. Let's check the fridge. Because maybe, now that I have Maria, we can do something about that. Open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Well, you helped. What you got for me? What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. <laughs> oh, I got the lead ring. So we've got two rings now. Um, wonderful. Okay, should I save it first? I think I should save it first. I put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. We unlocked. So this is this is another stairwell, right? All right, where are we? We can only go one way though. All right, Maria, we we getting somewhere. If <laughs> you can get out of my way. Ooh, what's that? There's a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the director's keys, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. The director's keys, the one to the museum, behind the praying woman. So there's a key to a museum near a praying woman? I guess we want to go down to the first floor. Where do I want to... Oh, there's another. I can go down here. Oh, no. Not long hallway. Oh, I don't have a map of this area. Okay. Hmm. Now do I have a map? Ah, so as soon as I go down there... Okay, we're going down to a completely new area. Oh god, not this angle. Not when I'm entering a new space. So that's going down even further than the basement.
Okay, where are we? Trying to look on the map, I mean on the floor to see if there's a map so I can not... <gasps> oh my god, I just shot Maria. I didn't know that you could shoot and kill Maria. <laughs> I didn't think that I was able to damage Maria, but that's fine. Oh my god. Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on. I've got him stuck. Can I do- Oh my god! He's just like slowly pushing us away. Does this do anything? Oh my god, no! Don't kill her, come on. All right, I think we just have to run. Amanda's not running though. She's just walking. Amanda's just gonna die. Amanda, hurry up. What the hell? Oh my God, she's running. She's actually running. Yo, what the fuck? Could I have stopped that? He was just tanking those shotgun bullets. It was doing nothing to him. When I was worried about Maria dying on the run and um, she died anyway. It's alright James, it's all just a dream. You'll wake up soon, in your car, when you're about to enter Silent Hill, and then you go, Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go home, because there's no way my wife would be alive. God damn. I didn't waste too many bullets. Okay, so we're here now. This is the... Okay. We are at the entrance to the hospital so I guess we're I guess we're getting out of here all right then play us some somber tunes for our for our Maria Why is Rosewater Park circled on this one as well? Interesting. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Ooh, he circled Rosewater Park again. Silent Hill Historical Society. Okay, so we're copying over the details on this map. Hospital lobby key. Oh, Laura. Alright, well I guess we're going for Laura now. Okay, so key to the hospital's front lobby, and then we've got some interesting we've got some interesting new details on our 
on our map for when we for when we leave. So it looks like we're going it looks like we're going back down to that area uh, that we haven't been to in a while for a letter and a wrench. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary. What? What should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Yo, it's night time. There's no fog, but it's night time. Why didn't I even think that we would end up in the night time? I didn't even think about this. I just thought it was going to constantly stay foggy forever. Oh, man. Not a fan. Is it coming from behind me? Oh my god, there we go. Oh, they're just all hanging out. What the hell? Come on, turn around quick. Quick. I forgot that there is a quick turn though, hey. Where are you? Oh, you just ran away. What's the quick turn again? That one. Are you? There you are. Come here, you. Oh, you didn't go down. Is there another one? There he is. Get down. Oh my god. So brutal, man. Oh, two shots and she actually went down. Right, there's there's quite a few of them. The nurses are out on the streets. Okay. Historical society. Back to Rosewater Park again. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, let's check. Let's check the details. Let's let's see how far we can get in each direction in pitch black night. I kind of feel I kind of feel nice at least cuz I'm just carrying a hell of a lot of ammo for my shotgun. Come on. So unsettling. Not a fan. Maybe I shouldn't be wasting my shotgun bullets on these guys because I know that I can take them out pretty easily with my handgun. And I've got... I've got enough of both. So I feel pretty good with both. Alright, that. I guess we'll go down. Well, I could, we could go that way to the Historical Society in Rosewater Park. I feel like we'll do the letter and the wrench first. That's what we should do. So let's go check out this way. So someone, someone's physically being able to mock us and fuck with us at this point with the with the whole game show thing in the elevator like that's that's something that's something else that's like not pleasant at all
and these roads, they're too wide. I can't cover enough ground <laughs> without being like, where are they? Is gonna be a good place to go for anything. Ooh. Rifle shells. That's new. We're right back into complete uncertainty again. This is like taking me taking me back to how I felt in the very first episode. Being completely on edge because I can't see anything. It's really no different to the fog, but the darkness just makes it so much different. It's just there's too many too many avenues to take to go and like bother picking up and looking at everything just in case you miss something like I can't get everything all right well we'll keep going we'll, we'll keep going to the end just in the middle of the road. Oh, all the school buses. No. At least I'm able to keep stocking up on handgun bullets. That's the, the only positive I can really draw from this one here. to the we're getting going to a dead end here I think yeah there we go we got another dead end oh this is not a dead end okay well I guess let's have a walk and let's see where this goes about to get trapped in here. Oh, I can go in here. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Don't really, don't really want to walk over this thing. I could go another way. Am I gonna f am I gonna just fall into this gate very obviously? <laughs> walk on the edge, walk on the edge, walk on the edge, walk on Oh my god, where is it? Is it below me or above? Oh my god! It's got a flesh mouth! <gasps> There's multiple flesh mouths! Oh! 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 
<laughs> now it's unlocked. Um, no, thank you. What do they hold on to the gate with their uh, goddamn mouths? What the hell? All right, where am I? All right, so we can go around up there and go to the letter. No, disgusting. Disgusting. Hey, James, are you feeling a little tired? You know, maybe you want to have a, maybe you want to have a lie down. Do you feel like you want to chill out? You want to go back to your car and maybe drive away? You know, I don't think that would be a terrible idea. Can I go in here? Ooh. <gasps> Save point. There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. No. Oh, guys, that was an absolutely crazy experience, having to finish the hospital and then being chucked right out into the outside. And it's somehow being even scarier than before because they just throw in a bunch of monsters and crazy stuff at us. We've got multiple places to go, multiple things to check out that I think it's actually best left to another episode so we're gonna do that in the next part for sure we're gonna we're gonna cut it here at the save point thanks for watching me coming this far i'm going to continue on another time when i am a bit more calm thank you for watching i'll see you next time